Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another episode of the Benny Rodriguez story here on MLB 15, the show. We're doing his road to the show. Currently 64 overall right now, playing for the Frisco Rough Riders, and let's get right into today's game. Benny Rodriguez will be our man to watch. Coming off a last game in which he was really outstanding in the clutch moments, collecting a whole bucket full of RBI, so he'll be looking to emulate that type of performance here again in this one. Yeah, and you said it, Matt. He was clutch. And you know, some guys just have that uncanny ability to come through when it really matters. In baseball, it's usually when there are runners in scoring position, and he found himself up in that situation a number of times. It was pretty special to watch him out there, so I'm excited to see what he does to back it up. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. All right, guys, coming to the plate for the very first time, finally under 500 for the batting average on the year. I know that sounds crazy, but we're now at the legend difficulty level as well as you see that pop up on the top of your screen. So I definitely expect that we're going to see a little bit more difficulty in the hitting department as the coming games happen here. Now, uh, we're starting this game off here as the leadoff hitter in this one, which I, I don't know. I don't really prefer to be the leadoff hitter, to be completely honest with you. I kind of prefer to hit at like fourth, fifth, third even to potentially get some more RBI opportunities. But let's see what we can do here in the first game here as the... Uh, leadoff hitter in this one we finally do hold off on a pitch the first two we couldn't hold off on bringing it now to a one and two count here and we're gonna swing at this one and just a terrible swing <laughs> that was ugly we do strike out in our very first at bat for the day I've been doing pretty good with not striking out but man the legend difficulty level I don't know it, it just feels like you have to be even more precise with your hitting than you do in the other difficulty level. So let's see what we do here in our second at bat. We're going to ground this one over to the third baseman. He's going to make the easy play. So over two to start this game off. Now we're up again at the top of the sixth. Our team is already down seven to one at this point. So this game is pretty much a lost cause. But what I'm going to try and do here is at least make this guy work for it. You know, I don't want him to be up there getting all confident and cocky and making it seem like, oh, he's the greatest pitcher in the world because he's holding us to only one run in the game. He already struck me out once, grounded me out once. I'm going to make him pitch to me, man. I am not going to swing at garbage in this at bat. That's what I came up here thinking. Going to try and actually take a walk, and we start this at bat up 3-0. So we're feeling very, very good about that. Just going to try and make him pitch right over the middle of the plate. If he doesn't throw it right over the middle of the plate, I am not going to swing. He doesn't there, and we're going to take the four-pitch walk. Now... At first base, going to try and get over here into scoring position. Easy peasy. That is a swipe for the Jet. An easy, easy steal. Now all we have to do is get over to third base here with two men out. I know it doesn't always make sense to do that, but we're going to try and get the steal anyways. Easy in here again. Another great jump as we take second and third. Unfortunately, our teammates are just garbage, and we don't get the score out of it. But, hey, at least we stole two bases. That'll pad the stats, if nothing else. Making the play out here in the field. Again, not really much we can do in this one. Just got to try and, you know, get out of this game if we can here. Uh, got to try and get a hit, though, by the way. We still haven't gotten a hit yet in this game, and we do have a hitting streak on the line. I don't remember exactly what the number is at this point, but it's definitely pretty high. Um, I, I know that we're trying to make sure that we get a hit in every single game so that we could potentially get that call up. That's really what the teams are looking for, I think. And we are going to line this one out here between the right fielder and center fielder. And this is going to go down for at least a double. We're going to try and stretch this thing into a triple here. And we are in there easily. Probably the, one of the easiest triples that we're going to get all season. A great hit there. And we're in at third base for the second time in this game. Remember earlier we took that walk and then we stole both second and third. So this is our real opportunity here to potentially score another run. But I'm just going to tell you guys right now, it's not going to happen. We don't end up scoring, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, the team ended up losing 4-7. to seven. Again, we got into third base twice and didn't score. There's not much you can do when the rest of your teammates just don't really contribute and your pitching staff is pretty much garbage. So, we're at a 12-10 and 10 record now on the season. We were, what, 
four games above 500 at one point. Now we're only two games above 500. So let's see what we can do here in the second game, try and turn things around as a team. Although, you know, honestly, I'm not really that worried about wins and losses right now. I know that sounds terrible, but really the truth is we're just trying to get that call up to AAA and then eventually go to the MLB. So as long as we're putting up decent stats, which we have been, we sold two bases and got a triple in the last game. That's good enough that it's still considered, in my opinion, a good game, even if we did ground out once and we did strike out once. Not that not too bad anyway. So first at bat here, and we are going to get a base hit here, and that is going to bring home one runner. Another runner is going to get over there to third. So that was a pretty effective start to the game here. Definitely going to be able to continue the hitting streak here. Um, again, another base hit, RBI, pretty nice start to the game here. And again, we're hitting, I think, fifth in the lineup in this one. Now we're at first base here with two men out. Going to try and take second, and we are going to get in there easily as the catcher drops the ball at the plate. So another nice steal. We are able to steal three bases now in the past two games. And we are leading the double A level in steals already by a pretty wide margin. So this is our opportunity to really show that not only are we the type of player that can swipe bags, but we can also hit for an average. Uh, and we could really be that five tool player that everybody is looking for in the in the major leagues. That's really what we're trying to do here. We want to hit both for power as well as for average. Swipe those bags. Play well in the field. The, the fielding, I'm not going to lie to you, is, is kind of up and down depending on how I'm doing for the day. Uh, but for the most part, most of the errors that I make are just things that I can't really control at this point. Now down 0-2 in this count with a runner on second and third. Two guys in scoring position. All we need to do is get a hit here to bring home two runners. Yeah, and I'm just going to get jammed up on this one. We're going to foul it off, though. Thankfully, the, the third baseman didn't get in there to make the catch. I have no idea what I'm doing swinging at that slider inside like that. Just obviously the batter's eye wasn't working in this at bat as we knock off another one there for another foul. Got to try and get some balls, man. We got to be able to, to to not swing at some pitches, but it is it is a lot harder than you think it is as we take the strike out there. Just the confidence wasn't there at, in that at bat. So we do strike out here. Top of the fifth now, and we are going to be able to hold off on this one. Our team is now down five to four. We were winning by a pretty significant margin earlier in the game. So let's see what we can do here in the second at bat as we do take ball number two. 87 pitches for the starting pitcher now at this point. And look at that one. That one bounced in front of the plate. So that was pretty easy for us to hold off on that time. Let's see what we can do here with this third pitch. And again, guys, I'm pretty much always predicting that they're going to throw a fastball. So when they don't throw a fastball, I usually can, well, I shouldn't say usually, but a lot of times it's easier for me to hold off on as we take ball number three. Going to try and take another walk here. We took one in the last game, uh, and trust me, guys, taking a walk is like a badge of honor in this game because it is so difficult to do. I, I mean, seriously, it really is a lot more difficult than you would think it is. That one probably could have been considered a ball depending on which umpire was calling it, but uh, we did swing at it there for a strike, and then we are going to swing at this one as well, which is going to foul off. I thought for a second that that catcher was going to make a play on it, but he didn't, thankfully. Full count now as the pitcher goes to 90 pitches in the game. It's only the fifth inning, so he is definitely uh, not doing very well as we force him to, to take a walk there. Now with no man out, I am going to try and get into scoring position here. I think it's very, very important that we do that. And this time, oh, it's going to be close. No, we are caught stealing. That's pretty rare. Honestly, that is very, very rare. We did not get a good jump on that one. And watch this catcher here as he makes an incredible throw on this one. Just stands right up there and delivers the ball. Shortstop makes the tag. Easy out for them. Ah, damn, dude. We had to try and get into scoring position, though, with the team down, you know, in the game. So, 5-5 five to five now, and we are going to easily turn this double play, a 4-6-3 double play, looking pretty good in the field in that play. Um, so, again, we're definitely looking better in the field than we were earlier in the season. I made those improvements in the attributes, so hopefully that's going to make us improve in terms of not dropping the ball when it's an easy grounder right at us like we did quite a few times earlier this season. But it's time to step up in the clutch here. Six to five, this is a big at bat to try and give us an insurance run. Runner at second base as well as first base. A double will probably knock home two guys. Uh, and if we can at least get a single, we'll probably bring home one. One out in the game. Pretty much just need to not get a double play here. And we'll have two runners in scoring position for the next guy up. So let's see what we can do here as we hold off on the second pitch of the at bat. Bringing it now to a 2-0 count. Finally, they did bring in a relief pitcher, which a lot of times the relief pitchers are a lot easier for me to hit. And we do get a hold of this thing as we are going to smack it deep, deep, deep. 
and oh, it is caught at the warning track, unfortunately. So uh, unfortunately, we did make good contact on it. Wasn't a home run, but look at that. The runner scored all the way from second base. So we got an RBI for that, despite getting an out. The runner ran from second base, tagged up, ran to third, and then got all the way home by the time that they got the, the ball back to, to home plate. So uh, that actually turned out to be a pretty good at bat for us. So I'm, I was pretty happy about that. Up seven to six now in this game. Runners on the corners, top of the eighth here as we take ball number one. Again, in a situation here where all we need to do is get a single and we'll get an additional insurance run. Let's see what we can do here. Holding off on those pitches that are going high. Like I said, guys, I typically have an easier time holding off on the pitches that go high than the ones that go low. So that's been pretty easy so far in this at bat. Let's see what we can do here on this third one. Oh man, he left that over the plate. I think that was either a curveball or a slider. Uh, but yeah, that was definitely a pitch that we could have hit out of the park if we just held off just a smidgen longer. That probably could have gone all the way into the bleachers. Next pitch, and we are gonna foul this thing away, but unfortunately, the first baseman is going to get under it and make the catch. So, ah, uh, very unproductive at bat there. And that was the final one of the episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. We went one for three in both games, but hey, we got a couple RBIs, stole a couple bases. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And guys, just to let you know, I'm probably going to be skipping a couple of games here over the next couple of days. Uh, I want to make sure we get closer to the AAA level. So I hope you guys understand. Let me know in the comments section if you don't want me to do that. But I'm probably going to do that so that we can get that call up eventually. Thank you guys for enjoying today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.